Hello, Solar Loon here. Uh, today we'll be looking at another pixel art tutorial that talks about uh, hue shifting and saturation shading. Um, this basically uh, is a technique that I've been practicing recently, so I, it's, it's relatively new to me, but it, it gives really good results. Um, usually when people shade monochromatic things like a, a white cube or something like that, they tend to simply make different shades of gray. That's fine. It, you know, that's, that's a way to go. But you can also add a little color to make it interesting. So that's what we'll be uh, examining today. So we have our ca canvas here. It's a 32 by 32 uh, image. And if you press G, you have the, the grid here. I have G set up to be the show grid uh, command, as you can see here. You can change the sh shortcuts in the uh, preferences menu. So I have uh, the grid set up to be 32 by 30, uh, 16 by 16 by default. And so you can change the grid here. <clears throat> Or also change the uh, default grid um, in this uh, menu, if I recall. I thought there was a, a method to change the default grid. I guess that's under that's under preferences. I, I if I recall correctly. Let's see. Yeah, the default grid is here. Okay, so let's draw a white cube. So I'm, what I'm going to do is delete the alpha. Um, this white background instead of that I'm going to have a transparent background so I go to layer transparency add alpha then I press control a and delete so this checkerboard pattern on my machine that is transparent on your machine it may be different okay so we're, we're going to draw a white cube here so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the grid so I can see what I'm doing and draw a white cube. Let's erase that. Oops. Now if you notice that the uh, erase tool is soft, I mean it's not like locking to pixels, make sure you have hard edge um, enabled. And to get a pixel, a single pixel uh, pencil, make sure you, you're using the pencil tool and you have a size of one. Okay. So let's shade this thing. So this is how a lot of people uh, do shading. They, for example, just go like this. Now there's nothing wrong with that um, cube, with that with that uh, style, but it's very plain. It's just a white cube. There's absolutely nothing more to it. It's a white cube in white light. But you can do a lot with it. For example, um, and that's where saturation shading comes in. Usually when you have lighting, it's not as simple or, or linear as just a white light. Usually the sun it might be a little yellow, the ground might be a little green. So you have a lot of color interacting. And while you can't really uh, approximate that in 2D, you can kind of give the feeling that it's more interesting than just a white cube by sh uh, shading, increasing the saturation as you go down in value. So for example, rather than j this just uh, turning dark gray in terms of lighting, you can make it so that it slightly gets a tint to it. And that's a little grad uh dramatic but it kind of gives it gives a, 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 a good little uh, effect it's a little more interesting now let's try that with uh, another cube let's let's make a color cube so we'll go with orange Yeah, so that's a very saturated cube, and it looks pretty good. It doesn't look that that bad. You could try a a little a little uh, sat increasing the saturation as it gets darker if you don't want a purely orange cube. Oops, my mistake. It should be a uh, hundred. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't want just a purely orange cube. So that's a slight difference. Now, another thing you can do is hue shifting, which means basically as 
a color gets darker, you push the hue over. So it starts off as orange up here, but as it gets darker, it gets closer to red or purple. That is a very good effect. So I'll show you uh, that, for example. We have a darker orange here. Let's push this over to the red uh, spectrum, just a little bit over in hue. And this brown, let's push this all the way over to red. Yeah, it looks more like an orange, like an actual orange fruit, doesn't it? It has a almost, well, it has very, a very lit quality to it. It's not nearly as boring as this orange cube is. And it's definitely not as boring as this white cube. It's very uh, colorful. So combining those together, you can really achieve some really good effects. So that's all for, uh, for today. Um, next time, I'll probably go into outlines, uh, using your outline colors really well. Okay, thanks for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and hopefully I can have uh, another pixel art tutorial coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching yet again.